Relatively popular streamer Sneeko recently switched from Rumble to Kick. I saw this clip going around. I really try actually to not watch any of this guy's content because he's just so absurd. I consider him completely a fraud, completely a grifter, changes his opinions every five seconds. But here he is being incredibly disrespectful and ungrateful to Rumble, the platform that essentially saved his career, I would argue. The only reason actually I even know who Sneeko is is because of Rumble. Yet the minute he switches platforms, listen to this guy. Unbelievable. First of all, you, you, you have been on Rumble. But it's like it, it becomes an echo chamber over there where you're, you're cast away into, into this land of people where you, it's like a canceled world. It's the conservative world. It's the Republican. Yes, you were canceled. So just immediately, just because now you're not canceled on this other platform, to crap on it is unbelievable. This was the only place that would take you in at the height of council culture when you were basically being a carbon copy of Andrew Tate, copying all of his positions, and you got booted off of everything. Twitch, YouTube, I think other platforms as well. I'm not exactly sure, but certainly all the major streaming platforms. I would say Rumble saved your career. The minute you get off of it, just say thank you. What the hell are you thinking? Looking world, it's the it's the conspiracy theorist chemtrail world, bro. The ads on there for this is already so disrespectful. I can't believe this guy. Your, for your gums and your your feet feet fungus ads and AI Joe Rogan, it's it's like a it's like you're you're pushed away to the side. I mean, this is incredible. After that company literally saved your career. Like I have problems with Rumble as well. I don't know if Rumble anything. Rumble's never done anything for me. I've never worked at Rumble. Rumble didn't literally save my professional career when everybody else in the streaming world was canceling me. I can't believe this level. Like Sneeko's like a mean girl. He's like an 18-year-old mean girl that's like, oh, I'm going to gossip about them now. Sneeko's incredibly feminine and in just an incredible poor character person. And even then, people saw like the, the mistreatment. Listen to this, his example of mistreatment. People saw the mistreatment. Finally talk about this. Do you guys want, should I talk about this stuff? Should I talk about that stuff? I wasn't, I wasn't treated properly on Rumble, I ain't gonna lie. You guys saw it. You, you saw what happened to Power Slap. I don't need to get too into depth about that. So this Power Slap story? But. I looked in the comments. I, I do not want to look this up, but apparently based on what the, not like, I don't want to look it up in detail because I don't care enough, but. In the comments, apparently Sneeko didn't get let into the VIP area of a power slap event. Oh my goodness. That's being mistreated. This company went above and beyond for you. I when, Sometimes when I go on Rumble, he'd be advertised on the main page. And again, everybody else canceled you, Sneeko. You were done. There's a very real chance that you just fade. You, he would have completely faded off into like just complete me irrelevancy, like a, um, maybe Sargon of a cog. What's that guy's name? V Vitaly. These guys that were popular once and now basically not that well known. That could have easily happened to Sneeko, but Rumble saved him. And I believe when he first got canceled, I don't think kick, which he's on now. I don't think that was that popping of a stream late at the moment. I think it was just about to throw a quote me in that, but I believe Rumble was basically his only option or else just, start your own website and just hope that you can like get your own traffic, I guess. Sort of like Alex Jones had to do with Infowars, but the, I mean, this not getting led to a VP VIP thing at one event apparently is mistreatment. Two years there, two years exclusive. Who else did that? Everybody else left in that time. Everybody else left. They weren't canceled everywhere else. Steve left, Ricegum left, Gideon left, Mizkiff left, Kason left, Kai left, Speed left. And none of them went on this rant calling out Rumble about making fun of their ads, just making fun of Rumble as a platform immediately after they allowed you to keep doing your dream job. He probably made, I would argue, like just because of the exposure on Rumble, he's probably a legitimate millionaire already, maybe a multi-millionaire, in humongous part because Rumble allowed him to continue getting his name out there and continue his dream. And then he gets off there and he just rips them apart. This is incredibly just absurd behavior. I don't, did he ever play sports growing up? This guy seems like the biggest clown I've ever seen. Everybody, who else, who else did I miss? Me, 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 me. Everybody left that platform. It was just me that whole time. It was me staying 
consistent on that platform the whole time and everybody else left but they got they got better treatment so how how'd they get better treatment is this example one event he didn't get led into a vip thing at, like that could have been an, an oversight maybe sneeko was calling them out one event in two years that's his example he doesn't even go into detail probably because he knows it's all garbage that's why i decided and some people text me i was talking to i was talking to tristan tate earlier and he's like you know rumble was there for me when i was canceled they were yes so what do you do just say thank you you don't have to air all this out just because you're a content creator doesn't have you don't have to make content out of absolutely everything this is so frustrating so i hope somebody he is getting called out a lot for this but I mean, it's just so rich, this guy that changes his opinion every five seconds. Again, I haven't watched anything with Sneeko probably in a year because it became apparent that he's just a complete grifter. Um, Sneeko went from this guy who's in an open relationship with like his girlfriend. He openly said he watched his girlfriend have sex in front of him. Then he goes to be this red pill guy. Then he goes to be this like fundamentalist Islamic person. I've seen him switch up his opinion on politics, being like completely anti-woke to... I saw him just a clip recently, like, oh, the Haitian people kind of going back into identity politics. He changes his mind every five seconds. I'm probably leaving out a whole bunch of other things. The amount he changes is not natural. And he goes from rumble to kick. Now he's going to crap on rumble. Just another flip-flop. He's probably going to be, like, incredibly negative to kick in five seconds. It bothers me to some extent for sure when guys like him, Jack Doherty, amass these huge fan bases of younger men and then they just rinse them like jack doherty does with the only fan stuff sneak had this like f garbage online university it's probably not running anymore i don't know but these guys just all rinse their fans constantly switch their opinions up every four seconds um i just think they need to be called out way more than they are they were there for me when i was canceled too but another thing i saw him um criticizing the like i think it's the word is usury like the the you in in islam how they don't want to use debt basically criticizing it then the next day oh it's actually so great so i don't trust a word this guy says it doesn't mean that you need to have undying allegiance to this place especially when they don't show undying allegiance to you what not letting you into one event so yes i respect that but i'm not going to like stay on this platform forever just because they were there when i was canceled then fine you don't have to don't come on there immediately after they saved your career. We're the only ones trying to help you. And then like go on this rant basically of a minute, just making fun of them, calling that place just like a wasteland, a bunch of canceled people making fun of all the ads they run. Like I can do that. Rumble doesn't owe me. Sh but what are you doing? You know, I would have, I think I, I would have figured something out regardless. It's time to branch out. Oh, that's good. What are you, like, www.steco.com? That would be your, your only other option at that point. You had nothing. This is just so ungrateful. Anyway, I'll finish the video there, but, um, yeah, Sneeko sucks. I'll end it there. Thanks for watching.